Okay, I don't think our little lighter will be much help to us in this uh, circumstances. Jesus Christ. I can't see shit! Okay, it's not that bad sometimes. The fuck? A bird? The fuck, bird? <gasps> it's a, it's a, this, it's this pin that I was telling you that I saw on the picture. Betty's. Oh, Betty. This is mother's brooch. You always wore this. You wouldn't take it off unless... Yeah? You left it here for a reason. Ugh, oh, you lost it. What am I not seeing? You're not seeing that Draugen took her. Okay, so this was the cave-in, and this is probably a hole that Ruth was using. And there are Trevor... Oh, there's gonna be a hand or something. Ah! Fuck! Oh, you better go. You better leave, mate. Or you're gonna be the next. Oh, oh made it. <sighs> no more going into the mines. If Betty was there, she is gone. Edward! Edward! What the Betty? fuck? Elizabeth? Is that... Is that you? Edward? Where are you? I'm on my way, Betty. Wait for me. Seriously? I was sure she is gone. Edward! Stay where you are. I'm coming. I'm here, Betty. It's Edward. It's me. I can hear you. Hold on. I'm almost there. What the fuck? Edward, where are you? I'm on my way. Stay put, Betty. I'm coming for you. Seriously? I can't believe we're going to Betty? find her. We are not going to find her. It's not going to be her. Edward, please. Hurry. I'm coming, Betty. It's it's his imagination again. Betty. Elizabeth? Um, is she in the house? He's gonna... It's not gonna be her. I'm on my way! Edward. Um, I don't know. He's gonna see the mannequin and he'll Just think stay put. that it's her. What happened to don't her? Don't move! I'm coming for you! What? How could he hear her? Oh, Edward, hurry! I'm coming! Why? What's happening? Edward, You're here. Is that you? You're inside in the house. No, she's not. He's gonna see the mannequin. Isn't that right, Betty? You're finally here. Elizabeth. There you are. Finally. You have no idea how long I've been looking for you. You you had me so worried. I I I Look. Your brooch. Mother's brooch. You, you must have lost it at the mine. Let me put it on for you, Betty. I wouldn't want you to lose it again. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I didn't expect that, but yeah, that makes sense. She's been dead for 30 years. Knew it! Elizabeth was never here. But we didn't come for her. We came for Johan. 
and Anna, and Frederick, and Simon, and... and Ruth. We're here to tell their stories. No. Elizabeth. She's here. I... You know Betty died when she was a baby. What? Then whose picture is this? She drowned in the pond. And you found her. You were just 11. You carried her to your mother. And your mother... She hated you for that. She could never forgive you for bringing her baby to her. And you could never forgive yourself for what she did after. You always forget this. Because you don't want to be alone. So you bring Betty back. Again. And again. To New York. To Boston. To the house. But always just out of reach. Never quite there. The scent of her. The echo of her. But never really her. All it does is make you lonelier. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, Edward, you're never alone. You have us. And you'll always have us. Betty's... She was never there for you. She couldn't be. You can't lose us. We're a part of you. Forever. And ever. And ever. But you need to let Betty go now. There's not room for all of us in there. So who is this picture? I couldn't save you, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. Tell me that the picture would... Oh, okay! It is as painful to wake from a vision as it is to be born anew. Ha! Huh. Okay. That was unexpected. Then why did he come here? Who and who sent that letter to uh, Frederick about Simon from Boston? Like, oh, we are concerned about you, but it wasn't from the from the investors, I think. It was from somebody else, but whom? Huh. Wow. Goodbye, Betty. Am I the same? Do I look the same? Yeah, I look the same. Okay, so basically, Betty drowned when she was a baby. Uh, mother drowned herself because Betty died. Father killed himself because mother died i mean it's tragic because nobody considered edward for a second i understand that it's i understand that it's a tragedy but had your noodle juice yet i might be weaned off the stuff boo don't lose your taste for tea old fruit it keeps you human so basically we have unfinished business we do? The final piece of the puzzle. Ruth. Come on. Let's go back to where it started. To the cliff. We have an appointment with a ghost. To the cliff? Um. So. So what? Such an amazing view, isn't it? And the air. Ugh. Boy, that sure is something. Why did we come here, Teddy? To Grovik. Well... Um... Huh. Hmm. 
some places hmm. that have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across the Atlantic Ocean? Gravik? No, I'm not saying that. You That's exactly said that. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. The letter to Frederick. The one you found in his safe. Yeah. In Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere, paid it no attention, but the name stuck. And Betty... And I spun a story around it that put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? Betty? To find my sister. But Betty's not... She was never here. It doesn't make sense. I'm a man of science. I don't know <laughs> what to believe. And yet, here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to her. Do you believe in ghosts? I mean, he has to. <laughs> you know I don't. Well, you've been chasing one for years. That's different. What about me? Us. You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. So what really happened to Ruth? Um... Um... No. I think it was an accident, but people blamed it on a curse. Hmm... But then again, she found this treasure. And maybe, maybe somebody thought that it would... Uh, I don't know, I... I'll, I believe yeah. it was an accident. How? What happened? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, she ran from the mine and came here. And then, was she afraid? What made her run? Mine? No, yeah, I think, I think. I, I like this answer. Death often comes without purpose and intent, he thinks, like a cloud in front of the sun. I think this is true. Not everything has to have meaning. But then I think she might have been scared of something because she clearly drew this monster. Maybe she saw someone in the mine and she thought that it was this monster. Something spooked yeah. her. Like us. I think someone surprised her. Simon or Frederick or a stranger. So she ran here. Why not home? Huh. She couldn't go home. Or she didn't want to. She felt safe here. This was her happy place. Maybe. And then... <sighs> if only Ruth had wings. Like an angel. She could have flown straight mm -hmm. to heaven. I hope she's at peace. And with God. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? Mm. Huh. Yeah, heaven. let's not be... They're dead. I don't know what that means. Maybe there is more. I can't stop you from hoping. You'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace <laughs> in the afterlife. Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? Oh. A story about people who are isolated, left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending, with no annoying loose thread. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Edward, is that... Our boat? But how? <laughs> who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure. Hmm. I don't understand how this can be. Dragon got tired of sailing around in it and brought it back to us. It must have been the wind. Uh, Whatever yeah. helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Let's blouse while the weather's still good. 
I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the things. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house. <laughs> my goodness. Ah, <sighs> righty ho. No rush. We have all day. I mean, but I would still first exactly <laughs> pull it on, so it won't, so it won't get lost again. We can draw. Okay, so we're going back to the house. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I got so much of this story right. Like, I knew Elizabeth was dead, but I didn't expect her to be so dead. Like, she died as a baby. I thought that she died as a at least teenager. Um, and I was thinking about this angel that appears to Edward. I think these are uh, the angel and Alice are the parts of him that are still there, but he, let's say, pushes away. So he um, visualized them as separate beings. Like the angel is his faith and Alice is his um come on Teddy pack your things I'll meet you by the boat do you never sit still <laughs> don't be a wet blanket let's make like the wind and get out yeah and Alice is his let's say childhood that he didn't have because his whole family died He got so immersed into science and into logic and into his loneliness that he created those to... I don't know how to call them. So he created this angel and Alice to, to accompany him because he was so alone. He needs some balance in his life, so Alice is there to provide that. Come on, let's go. Row, Teddy, row. She might be annoying at times, but she is warm. And he didn't have this warmth in his life. Oh, all right. I guess this is the end. The water's still cold. It's a fjord, Lissy. And it's almost winter. And it's been snowing the other day. There'll be snow when we get back to Hanover. The house will be warm. Yeah, but we can make a snowman. Are we going to be all right, Edward? I think so. I wonder if this is like the first time he had to be woken up from this chase after Betty and made realize that she she she's dead or if this is first like this this serious wake up call I wonder if this is if they are going through this regularly of or if this is like he is born again. Hmm. Alright, but this was an adventure. And I liked it. A fun story. But I have to admit that I I don't like the fact that um <sighs> Red Thread Games is, is, sorry, I'm gonna say it, being lazy. They want to tell stories, but they want don't want people to be involved with them. Like, when they created, um, when they created The Longest Journey, it had plenty of different puzzles, but Dreamfall was a bit easier. Most puzzles, while in The Longest Journey you had puzzles where you had to, like, um, not only connect some uh, items and just 
and just put them somewhere. But there were like legitimate puzzles, like you, there, there was a, a whole table where you had to, I don't know, align stuff together or you had to... Um, oh, I loved the, the one when you had to listen to the stories told by the, by the uh, bird people and then you had to remember all of them. I really liked that part. But they, Dreamfall compared to The Longest Journey was easier. And they went to, you know, sneaking and, and fighting side part, whatever. And I didn't like that. And I felt like the long the dreamfall chapters was even easier there were even fewer puzzles over there and now we have this game which is beautiful and i really like the story but there were no puzzles that it i mean you could say it's an adventure game because it's not exactly a walking simulator but it's a very straightforward adventure game i mean not straightforward straightforward would be the longest journey. never mind Anyway, this is very easy adventure game. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, but uh, as, as I said, thank you so much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the story. Um, if you think that there's a different explanation for the, I don't know, specters that are accompanying Edward, just let me know. I want to know. And again, thank you so much for being here with me so I wasn't alone. <laughs> and off to the next project. Bye!